Welcome to Customer Insights in Under 5. My name is John Wheezy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn on enrichment of your Customer Insights profiles. To begin with, we're going to go to Enrichment, click Edit Brands and Interests. Here we're going to be able to do a couple of different things. We're going to be able to choose an industry and then select a predefined industry, which will give us predefined brands and interests, or more likely you'll choose your own and you'll enter some brands and interests here. All this information is based on data that's coming from the Microsoft Graph. Today if you'd like to do enrichment from a third party source you could do that before you bring your data in and add that information into it or you can use our APIs. But for this video we're going to focus on the built-in enrichment which I should also note is available only in the US at this point in time. For brands, I'm going to put in Pete's Coffee, since our example is around coffee. We'll put in a few others. We just simply type their name. And the system will respond with any of the known brands that it has for us to choose from. And as it notes, we can choose up to five. So I'm going to choose five different brands. And then I'm going to put in some interests that relate to my particular uh, scenario here, which is coffee, as I mentioned. So we'll pick a few of these. It's like tea, coffee, and we'll do food and groceries. And then lastly, we'll add in uh, coffee and espresso makers just to see if people are interested in those. Once we're done here, the, the final step that we need to do before we can enrich the data is to map uh, particular fields. So when we click on map, we see that we can, have, we can map the date of birth, the gender, or the country or region um, of, the, of the customer that we're, um, we're looking for. So here we're gonna do date of birth, and I'm gonna do gender, and we do this by picking the field within our customer data. That matches that so we have gender uh, we already have date of birth um, we could do country or region um, so I could do postal code um, but uh, we're gonna leave this blank just to get a little bit more coverage so what this is gonna do is go off and search the Microsoft graph for each customer that's in my list based on their date of birth and their gender finding all the people in our graph of data that meet that same date of birth range and gender and find out what their interests are for each of these brands and each of these interests, what the priority of, of each of those is for them. And that'll give us then uh, an enrichment on our customer of what somebody of that particular age and gender is interested in by brand and interest. So we'll hit apply. The last thing we need to do is save it and run it. And running can take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here for a few minutes, and then we'll come back as soon as that's done by the magic of video editing and show you what the results look like. Okay, we're back, and our enrichment has finished. So if I back up here, what we'll see now is we'll see the potential interest and potential brands for each of my customers. You can see that I've mapped uh, and or enriched 3,545 customer profiles out of my total of 5272. Um, I can look at each one here and they're all going to be the same so there's not much to see here. Where it gets interesting though is if you go to your customers and let's take our prototypical customer Abby Moss that we use. Take a look at Abby and here we can see that um, somebody of the same age and gender of as Abby has these potential interests. So they have a huge interest in coffee compared to say uh, espresso machines. Uh, more of an interest in food and groceries than tea or beverages. And by brands we can see that there's a, a propensity for Starbucks over say Caribou Coffee. Uh, Dunkin Donuts coming in second with Pete's Coffee a, a close third. So here's what you get when you enrich your data and can give you some more insights into your customer. Hope you enjoyed this video on enriching your data and tune in for more videos as they become available on this YouTube channel.